trigger happy and I give less than a fuck. Love me or hate me, I'ma show no rip shit up. It's Mr. Nothing, nice on a mic stand. Mike in the left and the zest in my right hand. I took a puff, had enough now, hold up. If that was in dope, niggas getting rolled up. Yeah. What's going on, folks? Or K Pasa, this is Acid Roots. I'm gonna review a Latin rap album by Don Omar, King of Kings. So this is kind of similar i wanted to start messing with more of these folks besides this daddy yankee so this is one a little bit of backdrop about don omar's king of kings this is like the best-selling latin album of the 2000s decade and this is also one of the best-selling reggae albums of all time like i'm not sure if like bad bunny or like folks like that have surpassed it but Probably for a good while, I'd suppose, at least probably into the 2010s somewhere, I'd say that this is probably one of the highest selling reggaeton albums ever, which I wasn't aware that Latin rap was kind of referred to as reggaeton. It seems like it's kind of different. I didn't project that when I reviewed Daddy Yankee that that was kind of reggaeton stuff, but basically this is a pretty high this is a coveted project one of the singles on here angelito which stand which is in english is little angel is kind of like despacito which is kind of one of like a definitive kind of reggaeton song and they and wikipedia says it's a very thematic and one of the best known songs in reggae of like the past 15 16 years or so it's just definitive in a lot of ways so this has got a lot of accolades attached to it and don omar did a really good job in latin america and i i would kind of hope that this would have crossed over more to like the United States and more things. I want to say at least in terms of what it was attempting to, but I would still have to say Daddy Yankee probably did like a few hairs better in terms of like crossover potential to where it would have reached like things that would have played these music videos around this time, like MTV, MTV2, BET, and VH1 and some of that stuff. You know, as good as this project was, it I don't feel like it had, like, full-blown crossover potential of songs that Daddy Yankee had, like Gangsta Zone, Rompe, and Gasolina. I do kind of feel like it's good here, and I definitely think it won some accolades, but I kind of feel like the crossover potential didn't quite get as massive. So that's definitely the thing. But it is good. There's three brief singles. It, it's not quite as fleshed out i mean i don't know the quality of this album because i don't speak espanol but i wanted to at least cover the singles so you know that going in there were three singles off of king of kings and they they have they have varieties i mean they're not just all songs like rompe or something like that by daddy yankee they do have some different kind of vibes about them that kind of showcase the the success that this album got the kind of weight behind it but to, you know, as a critic, a music critic, I would have to say I was kind of hoping for something like there is a song on here that's kind of similar to Gasolina and kind of more like club and crunk type moments that like Lil John kind of does and that type stuff that are just purely about they're just purely about dancing and getting festive. I I have to say, at least from what I've noticed, that Conteo does not compare to like Gasolina or Rompe. It just doesn't. I mean, that's the thing. I feel like Daddy Yankee, in terms of like the dance cuts and the up tempo boilers and that stuff, kind of tramples all over like uh, Don Omar with this project. But I do feel like he does have variety and he does have some good songwriting. And he probably wound up having the larger single over that. I mean, I don't remember how well like Gasolina and Rompe did in Latin America, but. He did get a pretty, like I said, Angelino, Angelito is one of the most massive songs of like reggaeton and Latin rap and that type of stuff around that time, at least for a good six, seven years or more. So that just kind of happens to be the concept. But I'm going to go ahead and talk about some of these singles. So Angelito in English is Little Angel. And this basically deals with a woman who contracts AIDS and then kind of sleeps with another man to get revenge about it. And it's, it's kind of a dark topic to sit there and say that some woman with AIDS wants to infect other men with AIDS and that type of stuff. But the, the answer is, I want to say about the song, is they wind up liking each other or something like that. It's kind of difficult to really comment on this song because there's not adequate translations of what this song means in English. But, you know, from enough of what I said, it sounds like, you know, she is messing with death and she's getting ready to die. But... 
you know, somehow it's a romantic song in that sense, too. I mean, what I gathered from it just by listening to it, it is not a real kind of festive grind action kind of dance song as much as it is more of like a slow dance and a lot more romanticized. This kind of this. Yeah, a lot more romanticized and slowed down and just a down tempo, almost maybe mid tempo in some spots. But for the most part, it's just a real kind of like fleshed out version of like a single it's definitely it's a ballad it's i mean angelito is definitely a ballad here so it's not trying to be kind of like it's not trying to be quick and one night standish i guess that's kind of the way you could say it, it it's yeah it just has more romance attached to it and more long-term kind of stuff in mind and I, I feel like this song is okay, but I feel like the topic really has like a, a, an impression that kind of has lasted upon you just because of the seriousness of it. They kind of turn a song into a woman who has AIDS and affects another man with it as like a, a romantic and kind of relationship kind of song. It's kind of odd, but for what it is, it works. It was a large song, but I kind of feel like it's difficult to kind of vibe to understanding what the lyrics are about just based upon the the consensus of what's going on so that's kind of the topic but just intended to be romantic it's just more kind of like you know slow down kind of appreciate your girlfriend kind of thing that type stuff so that's kind of the concept but yeah i, I feel like i like conteo more like conteo has Joel santana there's a version of this song on the fast and furious tokyo drift soundtrack but i like the version with Joel Santana better. I feel like he adds a necessary spice to the song. And um, I also kind of feel like, I mean, it's like I said, it's an up-tempo, real kind of booty shaking kind of moment, kind of gets things in motion, works as like a club bop in a light sense, but I still feel like Daddy Yankee has trampled over these type of songs quite easily. At least this song that Don Omar did. I feel like him doing the kind of Gasolina type song needs work. The hook w really wasn't that addictive and I felt like it, its crossover potential just wasn't there but I would have taken it if it would have worked a lot better. Like I'm gonna list some of the lyrics in English like I like this song did not really have a good translation either. It was kind of confusing as far as what was going on. It seems like Conteo, I don't, I don't know if I said what this song stands for in English, but it means counting. So it kind of has to do with counting. It's talking about like a lot of words or numbers. I mean, it's, it's kind of talking about a lot of numbers. Really about the only lyric I really managed to really catch from the kind of awkward and kind of not fluid translation was to, was at one point Don Omar calls some woman in the song Miss Cinnamon Skin, which is pretty good. I like calling her Miss Cinnamon Skin. I like that, but there just was not enough lyrics on here that were fleshed out to the point where I could have really understood them. I don't know why a, a single would be called counting. It seems like kind of an odd thing to do is say count, you know, counting to four. I mean, they're counting to four in the songs. So this is kind of one of the situations, but it was just kind of odd. But it worked. I mean, it's still a serviceable kind of club and dance cut. I mean, I definitely would prefer this being on the radio more so than Angelito, but it's just not quite as furious and quite as catchy as like some of the Daddy Yankee stuff. But then Salio El Sol is the third single, and this is actually a hugely popular song on Spotify. This has about 250 million plays on here more so than the two other singles combined and what that song means in english is the sun came out so this is kind of like you, you know you're out all night and kind of like you're at a club all night or in some nightlife all night and the sun is rising because it's so early in the morning to me it just kind of came off as like a song that like i mean because this was in the mid 2000s it reminds me of like move your body and a song by Beanie Man, he had another song that kind of has a similar kind of instrumentation in there. I remember Beanie Man having a song like this. But it definitely reminds me of like Move Your Body, if you remember that song on MTV from like 2003, 2004. But um, the problem I had with this song is just the fact that there's no radio edit. It's like over five minutes. I feel like the, the chorus keeps drolling on after like the three and a half minute mark where you just hear the chorus for like the next minute, 45 seconds. It's a great song, but I feel like a problem I have with singles sometimes is when a single winds up being longer than about four and a half minutes and you try to have like a radio edit for it, 
the unfortunate thing is, is if you're going to have a single on an album, you need to have the radio edit on there because the radio edit is only like three minutes and 30 seconds. And that one is just more listenable. So I definitely would have said I would have preferred the radio edit of Salio El Sol just because it's just catchier and briefer and more to the point. It's a great song, but I feel like five and a half minutes is kind of lengthy for a single to just kind of go all along like that. It's not a huge complaint because I like the song and it's fun to listen to, but I probably would have preferred the radio edit a lot more and it should have been on the album. I definitely feel like it definitely should have, but here are a few lyrics. I, I mean, the Salio El Sol translation was a lot better. A lyric that I like from this song is when he said, Don Omar says the beach and sand is her thing and she's a hit when the sun burns, which basically means that people like her in the summer, which clearly means she has an attractive body. So I appreciated that and um, good song, but like I said, too lengthy. So I'm going to give these three singles off of King of Kings basically a seven out of ten. I feel like I liked a little bit of each one of them. In terms of being romanticized and more of like a slow song where things are not quite as festive and frivolous and just kind of static, I kind of feel like Angelino serves its purpose. But if you're not in the mood for slow songs, it has little value or not much value. Conteo is good, but I feel like Daddy Yankee can do those type songs a lot better. It's good for like a continued, another type reggaeton and Latin rap type song that fits the bill, but it's not just quite enough distinct it just kind of is like b or b plus range more so than in the a list kind of song so it's decent but it's not outstanding and salio saul is a great I, I didn't talk about the tempo that one kind of has like it's not quite as furious as conteo but it is another club bop that you can dance to and this one is probably catchier than conteo but it's not quite as fast paced so i like salio saul but it just was it was too lengthy you know that's kind of the thing so there's a little complaint about each one of these but i feel like they're good enough to the most part still warrant a purchase but it's just kind of the fact that you have to understand that it's it's a, a lot of bickering that kind of goes along with it just little bits and pieces here and there that don't quite live up to snuff and that type of stuff so it gets a seven i mean i like all three of the songs you would think because i liked all three of the singles that it'd get a 10 but because i had a complaint about each of the singles i give it a seven so that's kind of the concept like don omar in terms of the future the social score i'll give it an eight just because three singles that all have different variations of their outgoingness and they're all kind of romanticized and good tempo and festive I feel like they have a good attribute amongst your friends, but I felt like there probably should have been a fourth single that probably would have had more energy than Conteo, but also more bouncy than Salio Soul. If they would have had that, I probably would have felt like Daddy Yankee wouldn't have quite trampled them as much as he did. But um, yeah, I just would definitely say in terms of the future, supposedly Don Omar is working on something right now. He originally retired back in like 2017, but he came back in 2019, and I'm glad because he has some good music. I would like to see more albums, but the unfortunate thing is this is kind of his biggest album, so I was really hoping that he would have gotten more crossover potential and dropped hits and kind of gotten larger, but the same thing happened with Daddy Yankee. He really only had one or two crossover projects before he went back to kind of being not so much mainstream anymore and this happens to most musicians but it's just unfortunate that you know these guys daddy yankee only got two albums and don omar only really got one so that's kind of the thing but there you have it seven out of ten